Good afternoon, everyone. We're in Olivino in uh, Lower Belgrade Street, next door to Olivo Mare. Uh, today, I would like to talk to you about Sardinian wine. Possibly just a red, otherwise the video would be too long. And before anything else, actually, I wanted to tell you a bit about what goes wrong with wine. See, normally, when you go to a restaurant, the one is not good, the one is cold, the one is oxidized. Or... So, first thing, you smell. And that's one simple thing is, when the wine smells good, it's a good start. But the problem is, sometimes the one can taste of cork. The reason why it tastes of cork is because, unfortunately, the guidelines they use to take the bark of the tree that contains the cork, um, some of these corked factories, they don't follow the guidelines, which is a certain uh, meters from the, from the ground, and then they only cut the middle part. They go too low to the ground, and if it goes too low to the ground, uh, the fungus that infects the cork uh, gets to the cork, and once the fungus was in the cork, and they cork the wine, then the wine will eventually taste the flavor of the cork. So it's infected by fungus, and it does affect the taste of the wine. But please do not be shy to return the bottle either to the restaurant or to the shop or anywhere else you go, even a supermarket, because they'll be willing to change it free of charge anyway, so they should. And anyway, you're going to affect that because they will return it to the vent, to the um, importer. The importer normally gets allocation, an allocation of a certain number of bottles by the producer because of that. Second thing is... I just had a sip. A second thing is the oxidization. Oxidization is the process of, of, uh, of the wine getting oxidized, which means... Uh, the the wine eventually will become vinegar you know oxidization is it's a process which happens when the wine is open so if you leave a bottle of wine open eventually it will become vinegar the problem is some wines are oxidized at source because the cork is not tight enough so probably it's been breathing too much and that little bit little bit more than they should do and therefore too much hair goes into the wine and eventually it will uh, make the wine oxidize and destroy the wine. The way you re recognize the wine to be oxidized, sometimes is the nose itself is very pungent and very sort of sherry-like. And then when you taste, it's very sharp and, uh, and it has that kind of uh, uh, um, almost a sherry type of, of, of taste or, or port-like taste, if it's red in this case. So that's it's all there is about the two things that goes wrong with wine when they uh, uh, when you drink them in a restaurant or whatever you drink them at home it's two possible thing that goes wrong okay now the third thing i was going to talk to you about was sardinian red wines we, we you know a lot of people don't know much about sardinian red wines sardinian red wines uh, to make it simpler we have two main great varieties i'm talking about reds whites i'll do it next time we have um, uh, two main great varieties one is carignano and the other one is canonao Canonao is the main, the most popular grape variety in Sardinia and it's uh, really, it's Grenache which you know it exists in southern France, it exists in Spain and, and it's a great, great, uh, a great variety and normally it's not so expensive The other one is Carignano, Carignano is very well known because um, as one characteristic, it's one of the only f uh, few grape varieties that doesn't have the root um, grafted with the American root because the phalostra doesn't affect the root of this, uh, this, uh, this vine that is planted in a, in, a, in, a, in a sort of sandy soil and the phalostra doesn't live there. So it produces this wine that is very earthy-like because the, the root is, it uses its own root. And the root of the Carignano they've discovered that it actually can go on for uh, eight meters down the ground to find the water, so it's quite unique. Uh, so Carignano particularly makes Terre Brune, which wins all the prices every year. Terre Brune is a fantastic red wine. 
and uh, in our shop you will buy Terry Brunner at the best value anywhere in London because we import Terry Brunner ourselves directly and we don't charge what uh, most people would have to add on each the middleman, the importer. The, so it's good value, Terry Brunner. And then Rocca Rubia is the second press of Terry Brunner, is even better value because it costs half of the price. And it's the same grape, except they use the oak barrel they use for the Terry Brunner. Uh, the same barrel they used it to do Rocca Rubia. It's a second press, it's, it's like, it, but it's a value for money, it's incredible. And then going back to other wines, for instance, uh, uh, at the moment we have uh, 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 this Medeus, it's an incredible value for money. This wine, it's probably never going to happen again, this, uh, this red wine is 2011, and this red wine has, uh, 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 it's, it tastes like a, a vintage Bordeaux, at an incredible price for what it is. This wine should retail three times as much as the cost. But, that we sell it now. And this is a, a, a blend of uh, Canonau, Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, and uh, it, it, it makes it uh, more like a Bordeaux-like. When you smell it, it, it has a sort of uh, uh, musty uh, old Bordeaux smell, and it's so smooth. You can drink, easily drink a bottle, doesn't give you a headache, and it doesn't get you drunk. It's the most I love it very much, but it's, uh, if you're a Bordeaux lover, it's a great one. But having said that, we have the king of the Sardinian Reds is Turiga. And Turiga is, it's, again, it's a, it's a very, it's one of our most special red wines we have in Sardinia. Okay, well, obviously there's a new karma. This uh, Capicara Red has only been made very few bottles and it's an extremely expensive bottle of wine. We sell it 218 pounds, but it's 100% um, Shira, which unlike the Turiga uses uh, local grape variety, Shira is not our grape, but it's a fantastic wine. Uh, it's very costly. I don't know, money is not a problem, then buy it. But got, talking about costs and uh, value for money, our best selling red is Tanka Farad by Sela Mosca is far our best selling red wine that we have in the, in the company. Value for money, incredible. Taste, incredible. It's liked by women, by men, by anybody. You can drink it at lunchtime, it's got body, but at the same time, it's light. So it has a lot of, uh, lot of things with it that uh, uh, makes it the best, best selling red. So we have Buyo here. I'm gonna take the bottle and show you. This bottle is 50 centiliter. This is a very good selling bottle of wine because people like to take this at home and if their wife doesn't drink, or you know, they don't want to drink too much, this 50 centiliter is a little bit larger than a half bottle, 375 centiliters. And Buyo is a very good selling wine. It's a beautiful uh, bottle, uh, beautiful labels. In fact, this wine was uh, created in Sardinia by one of the most notorious uh, uh, um, advertising designer in Italy, called Gavino Sanna, who actually designed the the Barilla, um, the Barilla label, so it's quite famous, is, and he decided to open it, to, to make his own wine and, and design all this amazing label. Okay, then the last thing, because I don't want to sort of go on for too long, otherwise people won't watch this video, uh, we have our own label, as you can see, and we have a close um, relationship with, uh, with Contini, which is in the middle of Sardinia, and then uh, in the second video I will show you, I'll tell you about Contini, because they make this Vernaccia, which is a, sort of the Sardinian sherry. So Contini makes uh, our own uh, label. Uh, we have a Canonau, is the um, the house wine. And Canonau is, again, 12 pounds 20 a bottle, very good value, good wine. But the Reserva is unbelievable. I mean, we have people, uh, because this is, again, it's a great value for money. It's a full body red, super round, super full. Uh, super everything. So is it, yeah, I made this choice. This is the best one they make actually at Contini. And uh, this wine normally is called Barile and it make, it, 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 in Italy and it, it wins a lot of the prices because it's a great one. So I recommend people to try this uh, this uh, uh, house reserve as well as the house okay, one. To finish off, uh, I'll talk to you about the last one is Barua. Barua, they call it the Sardinia Sassicaia been bought by the Antinori family. It's a vineyard that used to belong to a friend of mine. 
and uh, Barua actually is a name that we gave to the one me and my friend before he died because he would, I told him to make some red wine uh, cask and he said it's too expensive to do it in a cask and I said well I'll pay for the cask if you pay for the wine anyway so the Antinori family bought it and they make this blend and it's, uh, it's an incredible wine and you can see it's a resemblance of the Sassicaia. So this is uh, the same family. And um, with that, I can just tell you the comparison you see, you can buy very good Sardinian reds, a reasonable price, probably half of the price of a Super Toscan, because that nobody knows them, and because they're not so well known, so the, the premium is not so high. So I recommend Sardinian wines also because I'm from Sardinia, and uh, all our companies based on the Sardinian region that I like to promote and I like to, to um, tell people about it. And next video will be based on the Sardinian whites, which will be a lot to talk about. Have a good day.